Intelligence intercepts and satellite monitoring has confirmed a disturbing development that China may have to some extent overcome Tibet's extreme altitude and temperatures to operationalize an all-weather airfield near the Tibetan capital Lhasa. The airfield is Gongkar, where China has deployed Su-27 fighters. Sources told CNN and IBN that the Gongkar airfield will enable Chinese fighters to widen their selection of Indian targets from Ladakh to Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. The sources said Gonkar is a direct response to the IAF stationing Sukhoi-30 fighters in Tezpur and Chabua in Assam. These fighters with a combat radius of about a thousand kilometers can hit targets deep in Tibet and mainland China. I would personally say that the development and upgradation of Gonkar airfield started uh, before, well before, uh, the upgrading by us of our defense infrastructure which has taken off only in the last five odd years or seven years. The Chinese Air Force fighters were observed in winter and now with the onset of summer are still there, which suggests that China has built up infrastructure for their support. Since Gonkar is at an altitude of 16,000 feet, the fighters can take off only with less weapons payload or fuel. China has solved the problem by stationing aerial refueling aircraft at Gonkar or nearby. This will increase the range and endurance of the Su-27 fighters. They've also incidentally got a number of airfields around uh, Tibet, which are at lower altitudes. You know, for example, in Yunnan and Sichuan, etc. And um, in case of any hostilities, uh, you know, they can also be brought into play. Red with recent developments at Rakhine Nala and Eastern Ladakh, the implications are clear. China has been engaged in upping the diplomatic and military pressure on India probing for weaknesses, testing our resolve, in the expectation that India will blink and back down. In New Delhi, Surya Gangadharan.